Have you as well? After doing some careful uh, research here, and based on the previous comments, I got a good point. It's not a good idea to touch the end, uh, tip of that magnetron there, because that can actually be live. It's not connected to the body of the microwave, that part there. And if the uh, bleed resistor in that capacitor was to fail, you never know, it can, it may, but if it does, and it's still holding a charge, and you touch that, they could potentially get a bloody 2100 volt shock discharge in that capacitor. Not fun. It's best, uh, yeah, to be very careful there. So, and that, that only weak, uh, actually, I noticed a weakness in performance putting that on there. It didn't actually make any, um, any improvements, so that can actually interfere and put the antennas on that output, can actually change the resonant frequency of the uh, microwave's output. Which makes sense, they can actually, like, they can actually possibly uh, breach this uh, cavity and put our uh, yeah, air. You can get nuked in the process, so it makes sense actually, so best not to play around with that sort of stuff. The actual uh, cavity has been designed for this set frequency, so it's best not to mess around with that sort of stuff. And I'm going to leave it as is. And that plastic cover over that magnetron is actually a safety feature so you don't actually touch the end of that in the first place should something fail inside the um, circuitry resulting in that becoming live. So it's best to leave it as is. If it nukes, it nukes. It's, at least I get some goodies out of it. Anyway, safety first. Thanks for watching.